So if they decide to work out a payment plan, which I have no control over at all, and you fail on that payment plan. You are a grown woman and you just stuck your thumb in your mouth. You are sucking your thumb. You are a grown woman. Let's get this video over, man. I can't believe it. She fake crying. She got a thumb in her mouth. Everything I have here and after speaking with you. And she stole $3,100. No, no she wouldn't even steal the money. She stole clothes. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Tex Chris, coming back again with another video. And today, as you see by the title, we'll be reacting to Employee Fakes Crime After Getting Caught Scamming an Employer Out of $3,000. Let's get right into it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm sure they could be outside here. here. to talk to you. All right. Let me frank you with the sheriff's office. I pay the money back to you. I pay for the money. Oh, sure, no sure. You got $3,100? I can pay payments. I can do something. Uh, that's, that's not on my hands. That's on them, but they want everything right now. On January 8th, 2023, officers responded to a minor fraud scheme at a local Burlington coat factory where an employee decided to steal from them. What possibly can you steal $3,100 from, from Burlington? How long was she still in for it? Their employer. Here's how it worked. The employee would work as a cashier during the day and, during breaks, select various clothing items. When back at the register, she would ring up the clothing as if making a legitimate purchase, but just before the amount was marked as paid, she would suspend the transaction, making it appear as though the items were paid for. She also recruited other employees to participate in this fraud. How she do that? They did that themselves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he missed the belt loop if I When officers arrived, the manager explained exactly how the fraud worked. The suspect decided to recruit almost everyone on the entire shift to steal. She's an idiot. She's an idiot. What do you mean you tried to recruit everybody on the entire shift to steal? And you don't think it's not just one person that's going to be like, hey, shorty over there, she weird. She wants to steal. Yeah. Steal right. various clothing items and make the transactions appear as if they were paid for. She got away with this for almost three weeks, but what she didn't know was that loss prevention could see all suspended transactions, <laughs> which made their scheme easy to uncover. Now, she was always the cashier. Like, she was always giving them the stuff for free. Okay. The, you know, the, the other associates, I haven't found any where they're picking her up. She's just... She's at the cashier, so she's really admitted to like three thousand dollars, which is about what God. I came up with. Um, so, a, a minimum of three thousand dollars she allowed to leave the store by not properly ringing it. Uh, but I, I put it on here. Like I kind of put this is her, so she's responsible for let's just say three grand. The other one, from what I can see on the transactions, sixteen of that is what this social walked out with. And this one here is like a farmer, so she recently quit. Okay, so that's that. just their names. I just had, to, had all the other Regardless of the are, fact, she's stealing clothes and not money? She was involved in all the Regardless of the fact, though. She was the cashier. So she was the cashier, so she was like letting the employee leave, leave with all those stuff. She would ring some of the stuff up, you know, it looks, so it looks, if it like, look, it looks like everything's getting rang, but then she was, instead of cashing it out, they would hit suspend, so it just suspend the transaction. But she still gave them the stuff and they walked out. They never so, paid for it. But on this this here, that's every one of these are I was taken or yep. none of that was paid for. Okay, that's why I just want to make sure. Yes, yeah, so it's it's all it's 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 thirty one hundred. This is her generic statement. Yeah, but it's not sworn to us. It's, no, 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 I didn't know. At least let me make contact with her. What's going on? I'm sure they could be outside her. Okay. Here to talk to you. 
All right. I'm Deputy Frankie with the Sheriff's Office. Well, you, unfortunately, there's no choice. You're going today. Can I pay the money back, please? I can't go to jail. I can't go to jail. You got thirty one hundred dollars? Don't blame it on your grandma, cause you know Granny would not want you stealing. Granny would not want you stealing at all. Oh yeah, you're gonna do I payment plans for so that ticket as well. Right. And, I, and, I did this and them bail bonds. You're doing so payment plans for that, for sure. Everybody can go to jail. Talk to this guy. Wait, you know? Well, first, now that I think about it, can everybody go to jail? Or wait. Oh, well, you know, uh, here we go. Everyone can go to jail. <laughs> First, we're going to talk, and then we'll go from there. First, and just. Um, but I, I will go step out and call. But I, like I, said, I, did, I, did, I did tell them all that ahead of time. You know, um, so I can make payment based on, you know, Lady, you're going to jail. I, I, I was wrong. Please don't take me to jail. Okay. Please. We'll talk to this guy, alright? Alright, do you, what's your name, ma'am? Yes. Alright. So, I'm going to read you Miranda because we are going to talk. So, just so make sure you acknowledge everything that I say, all right? You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Any statement must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you, do you understand? I just need a yes or no. Yes. Okay. You have the right to attorney of your choice or a court appointed attorney before you make any statement. Y'all think she's really crying? I don't think she's really crying. I think it's time to make no comments to induce you to make a statement. This must be in your own free will. Do you understand? Yes. Any statement can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand your rights so far? Yes. Okay. Do you want to speak to me what happened? Because we got a lot of stuff here. So, would you like to talk to me about what's going on, or? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Okay. Well, I mean, I know, you, I know you're, you've spontaneously uttered that a few times. What I'm getting at is, okay. So, we have all these transactions that were not wrong up. Okay. You with me so far? Mm -hmm. And some of these were for employees that work here, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to explain, like... Look at her rubbing her eye like she really got some tears in her. Stop it. What, what Stop it. I mean, were you ringing, were you, did you ring it up and just let them walk out and not pay for the product? Is that what's happening? Shit, you. Okay, and he's going to call corporate. So More police. Yet, but we are going to talk, because... Yep, knew it. <laughs> Guess who's going to jail tonight? So they've got you. They say about thirty-one, almost thirty-one hundred dollars in items so far. But I, got to, I don't even know how for them people. I told it might was a mistake. Lady, 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 lady. Even if you don't know those people, <laughs> they know you. <laughs> they know you, and they know you did it. So uh, you're cooked. For some of them, but they're saying that the receipt receipt came out after they put their card there, and the receipt came out. I didn't know if I suspended or not. I just explain that to him. some of them people. I don't even know. Oh, explain. I don't understand what you mean by suspend. That's what I don't understand. What does that mean? So, like this one here has your name, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So this was a transaction for thirteen items on the twentieth, right? So 
and it says status suspended. What does that mean? The the, the transaction was suspended. Okay, was that a declined card or? Do I believe her story? See, you know, working in retail, things could look fishy, but it's not. Her, you can obviously tell she's lying because you can see all that paperwork. So now, if I didn't know her and she wasn't accused of this, I'd say possibly she could be telling the truth. Because I always see the good in people, like everybody, no matter what. But like right here, you like you got the receipts. Literally, you have the receipts of her stealing, lying, fake transactions. So now it's hard to believe her story. Comment down below what y'all think. I think she lied. No, it just was. I just canceled the whole transaction. All right, so you can't. You suspended that transaction, right? So your your end of the day count is not looking for that money because that transaction was suspended, correct? So we have a total of. Uh, so it was like $103. So did you allow the product to leave the store? Yes. Okay. And did you know that this that the that the transaction was suspended? Yes. Is that something you used to no. Does, it's well, this is something she says used, to, one person used the card. She put her card in, but the receipt still came out. He said I put suspended. So the receipt still came out. So he's saying I suspended it and the items did leave the store. Okay, so the, the the transaction was suspended. You knew it was suspended. And Not this one. It's another one that I knew was suspended. Okay, so regardless, how does it go in suspended? Is it because a payment wasn't accepted or there was no payment? Or is it something you have to do? You can press F2, F. Now I heard teaching him how you to cash here. on there and it's suspended. Yes, but why did you suspend it? Okay, that's what so he's saying. That's, that's happened and... So you knew that this transaction was suspended for whatever reason, and you Not allowed the product to leave? I'm sorry? Not on all of them, because the receipt will come out. If they put their phone right there, it's, it won't tell me if you want to pay. It's just the receipt will come out. Okay, but it does it always have suspended? I mean, every one of these receipts has suspended on them. That's what the system said. Okay, and I also have one here, I'm looking for it, that was a layaway that they came back in the next day. That layaway was then canceled. And then they left the, the product, product still left the store. Guess who's so going guess to jail tonight? Uh, I mean, you're knowing allowing this stuff to leave the store, correct? So, so why would you do that? I told I was helping a person. Are you getting any kickback for that? Are you? I mean, are they giving you anything for this product? Or mm -hmm. and how long you work for Burlington? Started in March. In March? Yes. About five months. See, this is why people can't keep a job now. This is the exact reason. This is why it's hard to hire people, and this is why it's hard for people to find jobs. All right, because they also got video, which they're going to provide us. For all and you got caught in 4K. So, I guess another question is how do you pick and choose who you're allowing to leave without paying for product? Because some of these are some of the things are associates that work here. Two of them. Are. Two of them were definitely associates that we know of. Um, I wanted that they, they do fire too. That they told you about? Because I mean, they coming up to you asking. I mean, do you know them from like, the neighbor? I mean, how do you know them? I the neighborhood. Two of them work. <laughs> two, of them work two or one of them I know. That works here. Yeah. You know them prior to working here. Yeah. And then they, did they tell you that this goes on? No. You ever been arrested before? No. You ever been Cow. in trouble? No. Cow. How she? How did she go from crying and like now she's perfectly fine? All right. I know he's talking to some people, but as of right now, if this goes away, it is. It's it's a felony. You will have to take you if they do decide to prosecute. It's up to them. They could turn around and be like, "We'll work something out with you." Ugly. They ain't working no nothing out with her. If they do, she's stealing from the their business. Only thing I would definitely be cognizant of is that this is serious. Yeah, so they have a certain amount of time that they can report this without any repercussions. So if they decide to work out a payment plan, which I have no control over at all, and you 
fail on that payment plan. You are a grown woman and you just stuck your thumb in your mouth. You are sucking your thumb. You are a grown woman. Let's get this video over here. I can't believe it. She fake crying. She got a thumb in her mouth. Everything I have here and after speaking with you. And she stole $3,100. No, she wouldn't even steal the money. She stole clothes. Of three grand. Um, so if that's something that they allow to happen, again, I have no control. Then it's something that you need to uh, stay stay with because there's enough. I mean, you, there's a thousand dollars. It's you could almost be charged with uh, um, a scheme to defraud. If you're working with other people to defraud Burlington, that's another charge on top of it. Yep. It's not just a theft. And that's a uh, criminal uh, three grand because organized criminal the product. You activity. Don't have it. You allowed it to walk out. So there's a charge on the books. It's called a scheme to defraud, which is. You're facilitating it, and other people are benefiting from it. Because you're not benefiting. You didn't get any of the product. It's not like it's sitting in the car waiting for you to get out. We don't know that. You all are taking it and reselling it on the it was outside. Key. I, Lady, I get it. Listen, them kids ain't got nothing to do like, with I, you I, stealing I at Trust all. Trust me. I, I, I understand that. But you also have to understand, too, that you know, you're not talking a couple hundred. It's $3,000. You've been here since March. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, don't process you. Okay. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to uh we're gonna I am going to be cordial and I'm gonna respect you. We're gonna get everything we need from him. We're gonna walk you out like a like normal. If you give us any indication that you're not gonna cooperate, you're going in cuffs. You're gonna go in cuffs at one point, but instead of what they call perp walking you to the store and embarrassing you in front of all these people. We can do no, I embarrass her. She's still no outside because this isn't going to be you get released here. You're, you have to go. You're going to go to county. So you, you're going to buy that. I mean, if it was under, if it was a misdemeanor, I could release you on the scene. I can't. This is $3,000. I can't do that. So you have to. Um, you're going to have to see a judge. You, if you ain't got no record. What's that? That's a felony. If we don't get you down there quick enough, yeah. I can't, I can't undo that. But if you got a good record, no history. You know, there might be an ROR. That's up to the judge. Um, where do you stay at? Okay, so guess what? I'll take you out there. All right? Because I can take you to gun club, which means someone got to come all the way over here to coast to get you. I can take you out to the Glades, which is where we're supposed to take you. And then when you get out, you're right there. All right? I'm going to do as best I can, as long as you cooperate with us and, and be cool. Hey, that's actually a good cop, man. Yeah, we good cop. And w cop, we, for we, sure. Got, we can take care of this. But if you start acting up, Right. Cuffs and all the way through. All right. Where's your purse? In the locker. All right. In her vehicle. All right. She's got what she wants out of it. So if you, if you want to go back to the sub with me and help me do the property real quick. All right. And then we can get her down where we gotta go. Like I said, man, if you cooperate, let's go this route. If you don't, well, you want to leave your stuff in the car? To the the bag. All right. She's gonna take a couple items that she needs and the rest of them. It's a W cop for real. Show us where your car is. One of us will take that out. <laughs> Imagine she start out. running. Once you go to my car, we have to go and cuffs, and then we'll give you a, a double them up. And then we'll like, transport you to our district to get paperwork. We're going to go here in front of this door. Oh, I know she in bed. No, she embarrassed. Mm -hmm. This is the black Impala. What's that? This is the black Chevy Impala. This is the black Chevy Impala? Yeah. Alright, All right. you want to get that in the keys? This is me right here. Man, that's probably a shopping yeah. center. But that Burlington is huge. I'm making as comfortable as we can, right? They ain't built for comfort. Hold on, we got one. We're going to double it up. Which will give you a little bit more freedom, alright? The employee was charged with grand theft and sentenced to nine months of probation. To make matters worse, while on probation, she was charged with petty theft after being caught stealing again. Talk about a lesson learned. Just go ahead and lock her up. Just, just go ahead and lock her up. Just go ahead and lock her up. This makes no sense. You don't learn. You don't listen. Fake crime. All that. 
Anyway, let me let me know what you thought down in the description. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you brush your teeth. Make sure you wash your face. Do your skincare routine. Do all that. Take a shower. You know, eat some good food. Eat some green food. You know, tell somebody something positive. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, make sure you go react to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe even a little more of my videos that I react to. Hope you have a wonderful day. Since Chris, you sign out. Peace.